Hello there, today's video is about charging and it's the first in our charging series and we're going to be talking about the humble granny lead EVSE or charging brick as they're sometimes known. This is the slowest way to charge your car from any three pin household domestic socket. One very important thing to remember is that your granny lead is not a charger. The charger is in the car and all that this box here does is it enables your car's charger to interface with the electrical supply in your house. Now for AC charging, you use the top socket here. The bottom one is for DC rapid charging, the expensive motorway or uh, big service station charging. So these lights, when the car's unplugged, show you the state of charge in white. That's above 75%, 50 to 75, 25 to uh, 50 and 0 to 25 percent so you get an idea from there uh, of what state of charge you're in. Now as you can see and is very common with granny leads the cable is often too short to get you anywhere near a plug so you're going to need to use an extension cable and there are some big no-nos with extension cables. Now this has a 13 amp plug, 13 amp sockets but the cable has a very small conductor width. It's 1.25 millimeters, it says on the cable here. And that will probably drop the voltage considerably between the plug and the car, and it may get hot. It certainly will if it's left coiled up. They should always be fully extended. So um, you need a better cable, really, if you're gonna be plugging in regularly using your emergency charger, your EVSE. And I got this from industrialextensionleads.co.uk. And this has a three and a half millimeter uh, conductor thickness, which is perfectly able to carry the 10 amps that the EVSC uses. Now I haven't plugged in the uh, granny lead yet, and these lights are showing blue, which means the car's not charging, but it's plugged in. So let's just get it plugged in. And we'll watch what happens on the box. All the lights come on as a test. power light comes on and the charging light comes on and the car is now charging and we have a green lights on the charge port showing it's charging and that's the top 25% there pulsing to show that that's what's charging right now we're in the car uh, you can see that the car's warning you that the charge port is open it's showing this red lamp here to show you that the car's plugged in and the green um, petrol pump for want of a better word symbol with a plug coming out of it showing you that the car's actually charging and if we have a look on the infotainment screen here we are it says slow charging it tells you when it expects to be finished and if we tap this it shows the charging power 1.7 kilowatts now 1.7 kilowatts charge speed um, per hour and the car's average energy consumption is 3.7 miles per kilowatt hour. That will give you a little over six miles per hour charge rate on the granny lead. Now that may not sound like much, but imagine you've gone to visit someone and you're plugging in overnight. This is an emergency charger, really. You wouldn't use it for running your car continuously over long periods. I mean, some people do, uh, but it's not designed for that. So uh, let's imagine you're charging at six miles per hour to make the maths a bit easier and you stay 10 hours overnight, um, that's 60 miles overnight. If you plug in at five when you get home in the evening and you then go out at 10 the following morning, you've got a lot more than uh, 60 miles. You'll probably have 80, 90 miles or more. And that certainly will be enough to get you to the next rapid charger. So don't dismiss the EVSE, the granny lead. It's very useful if you're staying with fam family or friends who will let you plug in. Uh, if your charger at home breaks down and you need to plug in overnight, you can pick up 60, 70, 80 miles overnight. And if you're staying at a B&B &B or a hotel, don't forget to seek permission to use the electricity and offer a contribution. Because if you don't get permission, you are stealing. It's theft. It's actually officially legally theft if you take electricity like that without asking permission first. Now, many early cars were supplied without an EVSC or granny lead. So if yours didn't come with one, um, it's a very useful backup, emergency backup. And you can get one from Screwfix, made by Master Plug to a reasonably high quality, uh, with different length cables. So uh, you could, this is a 10 meter one, which is very handy because no, uh, no car manufacturer gives you one with a 10 meter lead. And that's £199. So that would get you out of pretty much most 
windows to your car or plugs to your car uh, and that enables you to, to charge overnight at a reasonably slow rate but at least to get some power in your car overnight 80 miles or so uh, for a couple of hundred pounds if you didn't get one with your car when it was delivered.